Deep in the Indian jungle, Bagheera, the panther, had a strange sound. He discovered that it was a man cub. The baby boy was in a basket, which lay in half sunken boat on the river. Bagheera felt sorry for the baby. He carefully carried the basket ashore. The man cub will never survive without a mother, Bagheera said to himself. Then he remembered that a wolf family lived nearby. Perhaps they would adopt the man cub. Bagheera bought the basket to the wolf's den. When the mother wolf and her cubs found the laughing baby, they smiled. Rama, the father wolf, was not so pleased at first, but soon he too was smiling at man cub. The wolves named the man cub Mowgli. For ten years he lived happily in the jungle. Mowgli learned many things from the wolves how to scratch himself, how to play, that and how to run. But one day there was some terrible news in the jungle. Shere Khan, the tiger, had returned. The fearsome tiger hated all humans because a hunter had once shot at him. So Mowgli he was in danger. Late that night, the wolf pack gathered with the Bagheera on Council Rock. They decided that Mowgli must live. The Bagheera knew of a man village where he could take Mowgli and where he would be safe. But taking Mowgli to the man village would not be easy. This is my home, protested Mowgli as Bagheera tried to pry him from the tree. I don't want to leave the jungle. Re reluctantly, Mowgli began the journey to the main village with Bagheera. Night began to fall. When they came to a big tree, Bagheera decided that they would spend the night there. Bagheera gave the boy a lift. Up. Go to sleep, Bagheera told Mowgli. As they settled them set on a branch. But they were not alone. Ka, the snake, was hiding in the tree. He told Mowgli would be make a tasty treat. Mowgli woke up and saw Ka. Leave me alone, he said to the snake. Don't be afraid, man cub, said Ka. Trust me, go to sleep. Ka started and stared at Mowgli. Mowgli began to feel dizzy. He was under Ka's spell. Ka wrapped his long tail around Mowgli. Just then, Bagheera woke up. He slapped Ka with his paw before the snake could hurt Mowgli. Ka fell to the ground with a thump. You have to make a serious mistake, Bagheera said. Ka, as he, he slighted off, Bagheera told him, You see, the jungle is too dangerous for you. You belong to the man villa. We will go there in the morning. But, Mowgli didn't want to live in the man village, so he left early the next morning. I can take of my, I can take care of myself, said Mowgli to Bagheera as he walked away. I don't need anyone, but after a while, Mowgli fell alone. Then Mowgli heard somebody singing. In, it was Baloo, a big friendly bell. Well, hello there, little breeches. Baloo said to Mowgli with a smile. They quickly became friends. Baloo taught Mowgli how to dance like a bear, a growl like a bear, and even how to fight. 
that I can bear. I want to stay in the jungle with you, Baloo, said Mowgli. I like being a bear, Mowgli told Baloo as they floated down to the river. Nay, of them noticed that several monkeys were watching them.